play music for you, for your soul. And when you're doing it for 15 years, it's part of you. Now you carry your violin with you everywhere. It's like your little baby. Yeah, it's just a part of me. Thirty-two-year-old Ella Leskova has been playing the violin all her life. I started to play when I was five years old or four years old, as I can remember. I have a tiger mom, so I had to practice a lot, like maybe four or five hours every single day. It took Ella far and wide with performances on the world stage. I was dreaming about to play around the world, travel a lot, and um, be able to go to New York one day. And at 25, her American dream came true when she won a scholarship with the Manhattan School of Music. But one day during rehearsals, everything changed. I felt um, this movement on my hand is just... Um, stopped. My hand was on the fingerboard and didn't want to move at all. My brain didn't react to my finger. I called my teacher and she said, you have to go hospital. And then I went through all hell in the world. And that was the end of playing at concerts. Ella has a rare condition called dystonia, which causes muscle spasms, in her case, in her fingers. It means she can only play slowly, like here on the scales. And this is the faster version. But when she plays fast, Ella's brain is unable to tell her fingers what to do. Oh. How does that sound to you? That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. It's, it's uncontrolling and does start to a little shake as well. So it's uh, all collapsing and shaking and absolutely not connecting to my brain. My finger stopped. This one doesn't want to wake up when I ask him, him to wake up in a certain tempo and certain movement. So it's collapsing, so I can't catch up. And if you're, and if you're in an orchestra, playing in an orchestra... Yeah, I basically will be behind. Or I will be like out, which is... You'll be out. Which is bad, yeah, very bad. Chucked out. It's just out. Ella has come to Sydney's St Vincent's Hospital in the hope that a new treatment will cure her dystonia. A little bit nervous, but it's all right. I hope for the best results we can get. The treatment involves sending ultrasound waves into the brain in an MRI machine. You to do a spiral, hand touching, nothing else touching. It's the same technology used for a different condition, the tremors, which 730 featured back in 2019. His handwriting is severely affected as part of his essential tremor. The team at St Vincent's are adapting the technology for Ella's dystonia. I tried everything, I waited, and it's a miracle that it actually exists. And uh, this is my last treatment before I gave up forever. Task-specific dystonia is not all that common. It's probably around 50 per million individuals. Similarly, we can see it in uh, individuals who play wind instruments, trumpet players, oboe players. They get a dystonia of the mouth and lips. Uh, we see it in people who perform other professions, so hairdressers with repeated cutting, uh, elite sports people, tennis players, golfers. It's that repeated high-level skill practicing that seems to predispose with developing focal dystonia. When the frame goes on, it's not painful, but it feels really, really tight. After an overnight stay in hospital, the big day arrives. Once we're in the machine and we lock you in, we can't really take you out until we're all done. It's a complex process. As Ella enters the MRI machine, her head is surrounded by cold water, so the ultrasound waves can be sent into her brain, targeting specific areas. Compared to, say, the more invasive surgeries, uh, this doesn't require an open incision. It doesn't require open brain surgery, and that's a huge appeal in terms of its implementation. OK, that's good. 46, 47, I think yep. it's good at this point. Good to see how that translates with her violin. 
Well, the treatment takes about three hours and we're at the halfway mark now. They're scanning Ella's brain and they're running tests as they go, but what they really need to see is gradual improvement over time. That's good too. Well done, Ella. Three hours later, a result. It worked. I feel the, my connection between what I want to do and actually what my hand does, mm -hmm. it's much stronger and much efficient. Playing the scales quickly is now a cinch. You couldn't do that before? No. Yeah. What does this mean for you now? I don't know yet, I'm just in shock. <laughs> Seeing Ella play the violin after afterwards, is, I was quite ecstatic. Seeing how beautifully she played. Yes. Is this magic or medicine? Your first reaction is this must be some form of magic. It's, it's an incredibly effective treatment. Uh, but in terms of the treatment outcome, you know, it's, it's definitely medicine, but it has a magical feel to it, it really does. A few weeks later, Ella is back to playing how she used to. You're going to return to the stage? Yeah, 100%.